Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm always praying and thinking of you guys from my heart. And I just wanted to share two, two glosses from the Kika Milano um, Hydra glosses. I love them. I have a video um, on number 18. Um, I will link it down below um, on like a review. But I got two new ones for my collection. I got number three, which is this beautiful peachy nude shade really perfect um on its own even like as a topper i have it on um and it's just gorgeous it is lovely it's like a nudie peach you could really just wear it on its own or as a topper with like a nude peachy lipstick underneath i think that would look so gorgeous and then we have number 10 which i was like trying to get my hands on you guys because it was like out of stock and i just could not find it for the life of me um but this is stunning this is perfect for summer so yeah you guys this is number 10 and this one is number three Yes, this one is at number three. And yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead and see what these stunning glosses look like. So this beautiful peachy nude shade that I picked up is number three. And instantly, I just loved like the finish of it. It has slight shimmer, but it's nothing too like too much or too overpowering. I think this is like a perfect nude peachy gloss that you could wear literally on its own and you have such a great color payoff i also love the applicators and just the shine on these glosses they're very very really comfortable to wear and they don't leave like that super super sticky feel um as it gets tacky it does slightly wear off and it like the moisturizing um formula however it's nothing too like um overpowering and too overbearing where your lips feel like super super sticky and they kind of stick together um but they are this is a beautiful beautiful shade you could literally wear it on its own or you could wear it on top of a lipstick as well um i have tried that before and it is really nice um this is also a beautiful color to wear in the summer because again you're going towards like nudes but again with the color payoff it really complements um the the season and a really nice outfit because you still have the, the nude undertones to it it is very nice and i highly recommend number three So I'm now trying number 10, which you guys, it is such a gorgeous fuchsia. Red, almost like with a pink raspberry undertone. I have nothing like it. And I was a little bit skeptical at first. I was like, oh no, is this a good color to try? Does it kind of like, is it too bold for me? Um, I wasn't quite convinced because you know what i i tend to really gravitate towards like the peachy muted pinks or like the peachy nudes but i just kind of thought you know what let me just let me just try this it is spectacular you guys the shimmer on this um it's like yeah it's in between like a fuchsia with a raspberry kind of raspberry yeah red undertone to it it's really really unique and for like spring and summer i think this is a gorgeous like color to go for especially if you're going to the beach and you want a pop of color this is really gonna stand out and yeah it's just gonna literally just pull the look together if you've got like a simple eye and you just want a really bold um shade it's a gorgeous gloss and yeah i just really wanted to get number 10 but it was always out of stock so I was like oh no when am I gonna get, how am I gonna get my hands on number 10 because like it was never in stock at all every time I'd go in there but luckily I found it and I took the opportunity to try it and yeah I'm really really looking forward to to really delving into this beautiful color it is really really stunning These glosses are absolutely stunning. If you've ever tried Kiko, um, the Hydra glosses, I'd highly recommend them. They are just so comfortable and just the shine and the pigment on these glosses are really impressive. And at that, like the cost rate, the price range is really, really impressive. And 
cost wise they're ranging at 11.99 but i just i feel like for the price point for a, a gloss if you're on a budget but you still want a really nice comfortable gloss without it like feeling sticky i think they're really beautiful and they have such a gorgeous array of of, of colors of just different options their color story is really phenomenal they even have like the metal um metallic -y type of collection as well which i haven't got my hands on but they do look phenomenal i have swatched them in the shop um and i think they're out of this world really really nice um but yeah you guys um let me know if you tried um any of the hydro glosses by kiko milano um i feel like when you start trying out all the shades you just basically want the whole collection and you just want all the colors of uh, but they are they're really stunning and they're so popular and amazing so yeah i wanted to share the two that i have in my new collection because i did a video on kiko gloss um number 18 i did a video on that i will link it down below um on that one um but i've got two for into my like a new additional collection <laughs> So I hope you liked this video on my two new editions of the Kiko Milano Hydro Glosses. They are so stunning. Let me know down in the comments if you have tried the Kiko Milano Hydro Glosses out or just in general, like if you've tried Kiko out as a brand, I'd love to know. I love you, I hope you're all well and I will catch you in my next video. Love you. Mwah.